does part load efficiencies come into play as they relate to energy? So typically what they do with the variable speed is they just lock in, you know, the compressor and fans at a certain speed for certain temperatures. And basically it gives you a, a baseline comparison to, you know, like any other piece of equipment out there, whether it's single stage, two stage, et cetera. It's basically just saying at this temperature, at, at this Hertz, so on and so forth, the unit draws this much power. Where you're going to really see like part load efficiencies is like in the new commercial products where they do IEER. That's when they're going to go in and rate it at, you know, certain percentages at certain temperatures. Now, if you want to look at different kinds of information like COP and stuff like that, you can pull up our extended ratings, which has that information. So if you're wanting to just kind of see efficiencies at different temperatures in your area, that's something you can kind of take into account and, and look at. Seasonal energy efficiency ratios are, you know, trying to provide like an apples to apples comparison, you know, across the board, single zones, or single speed systems versus dual speed systems versus, you know, fully variable speed systems. And, you know, unfortunately where variable speed systems really, really shine on energy efficiency are the part loads that are, you know, I mean, 99% of the time or 75% of the time or whatever it may be. Um, that's where they really shine. Unfortunately, that's, I mean, that's just not really something that's easily measured. So therefore it's just, it's just not really measured that way. Right. So if I took an 18 seer system that was fully variable speed versus an 18 seer system, that was a single speed 18 seer system, you could pretty well guarantee that the 18 seer variable speed is actually going to save you more money. I know there's other variables and stuff like that. A high, high seer single, or even a two stage piece of equipment versus an equivalent SEER variable speed piece of equipment. That singular two-stage piece of equipment is really kind of brute forcing the number. You're gonna see a much larger piece of equipment. You're gonna see much larger coil sizes for, for surface area and things like that. Whereas the variable speed piece of equipment, you're gonna have kind of smaller coil sizes. So you don't need the surface area for heat transfer and everything else. You're gonna have no lock rotor amps when the, the variable speed piece of equipment starts up versus the singular two-stage piece of equipment. I mean, that right there is going to be a, a major savings in amp draw every time the unit starts up. And, and all, as we all know, it's not going to be at that temperature all year round, right? You're always going to have cooler days for probably 80, 90% of the year uh, when this thing's running and, and, and cooling, so to speak. And that single piece stage or two stage piece of equipment is not going to ramp down to meet that lower load, whereas the variable speed piece of equipment will you know when that system's able to ramp down to you know 20 percent instead of 80 percent like a two-stage or something like that there's going to be some energy savings there right as soon as it's 94 degrees outside i'm able to run a little bit less you know i can actually slow down continue to dehumidify you know that kind of thing and provide better comfort and also energy efficiency i mean i am i am using less energy at that point let's say we got to set it 70 let's say we get it to 70 degrees Instead of cycling that unit off, we're going to slow that machine down and maintain that temperature at a much lower amp draw rather than shutting the unit off, waiting for the temperature to rise up to kick it back on again, pull that locked rotor ramps, and fire that compressor back up again. Inverter driven units going to be more efficient, but able to just slow down and stay on and maintain the temperature rather than cycle it off and make let the temperature go up. We have to get past the point of the only way to save energy is to turn stuff off. I mean, but that's what we have to do if we're using a traditional system is turn it off. It's, you know, it's like being able to dim the lights in your house versus just turning them off. Maybe you still want to see, but maybe it's just not that well, you know? You know, maybe, maybe you got some mood lighting going on. I mean, in effect, you are using less power at that point, and it's going to save some money. And I, I think my wife would be happy if I turned down the lights a little bit.